Hey guys, it's Leo from Keyword Cupid, and today I want to go over some new features and new functionality that we have implemented in Keyword Cupid, and in general discuss with you how this plays into the broader picture of what we're trying to accomplish. We have new features from um, different sort of angles. We have a new updated mind map, a new updated Excel sheet. We are uh, able to scrape the content from all the SERPs for all the keywords that you have in your mind in your um, clusters and then compile statistics and uh, in general there's a lot of new uh, and exciting uh, features and functionality that we aim to bring you in the next uh, few months we're also finishing up a course we have already published it with internet Mar marketing gold and it's going to be live in march so stay tuned for that and uh, without further ado let's just dive into the features hope you like them We will start by going over the updates in the mind map that will also transition into what are the new features that we're introducing. Uh, this report is from the course that I mentioned that we're publishing in the beginning of March with Internet Marketing Gold. And for this example, we have been focusing on uh, the pet niche and we've been, we have been finding different sort of verticals that we want to target uh, based on our market research with Facebook and Snapchat Audience Insights. If you want to find more information, you can uh, take a look at the course when it becomes available. For starters, let's just maximize this. And these are the, the normal uh, kind of form that you have expected uh, when you open you can find the big silos and all the, the different groupings and how many keywords exist in its kind of uh, cluster and once you click this button here there is a menu that appears with different sort of functionality the first one is the search functionality that we're introducing once you click when you click here you can also search among all of your keywords so let's just say that for example we want something to do with tuxedo like um, pet tuxedo um, yeah this looks good do dog ring bearer tuxedo once you click this the um, the platform will also highlight the path that uh, this keyword here lies in so you can find other uh, sort of related keywords and other related clusters that uh, can be interlinked between those two different those different pages for example this um, parent cluster has to do with dog ring bearer outfit and what you see inside this has a lot to do with ring bearer harness cat uh, ring bearer dog ring bearer uh, ring bearer tuxedo but there's also parallel kind of intents like dog engagement rings bulldog wedding dog as ring bearer which uh, has a lot of the things uh, about ring bearer flower baskets dog collar uh, and things that people are um, interested in if they want to include their pets in the wedding there's a reason why we are investigating this kind of intent and it came out uh, through our market research and you will find more information later but um, that is the first step you can search whatever keyword you want here or you can just uh, start scrolling them down uh, irrespective of how big the list is uh, this is dynamic dynamically loading so it's not going to uh, take forever to load 16,000 keywords. The next feature is the edit of the mind map. What you can do if, is if you, if you click this button here, you can delete or edit the name of different things. As we have discussed, uh, this is um, just a suggestion. This is the center, the central keyword that appears in this cluster. So you might want to mention that you want to name this. Um, uh, dog ring bearer or or whatever you want the page to be so once you're doing this it will change the name of that um, sort of made up uh, cluster and you can also delete it if you delete this then you can delete all the nodes in this category and uh, this will allow you to create your own structures and we will see how this will play into the next steps that we will create later on what you can also do is that you can just drag things around. Uh, let's just, and you, you can create your own categories and your own custom kind of structures. This is gonna be important because in the next step, in the next update that we're gonna be doing, you will be able to click on one of the clusters and there's gonna be a content editor that is uh, created and will be uh, optimized, con it will have optimized content based on all the keywords and all the SERPs inside this cluster. So that's why it's important 
to uh, delete the things that you don't want, that some of the keywords that do not make sense or they are very generic and create your own kind of structures. Uh, the, those two things are in order to be able to save your progress. So whatever is your structure here, you will be able to save it so you don't have to do this every time. Or if you want to refresh it and just pull uh, the, key, the clustering that we did, you can just click this to restore the original mind map. The most important feature of this update is this, the SERP spy mode. And what the SERP spy mode does is that it scrapes all the keywords, uh, all the SERPs from all the keywords inside a cluster, and then finds out for about the, the first in the, to the second page, it's around 10 to 15 SERPs for its keyword. It finds out what is the average words per content. Uh, what is the average meta keywords that the um, the SERPs in this kind of uh, from this kind of keyword have? How many H1s, H2s, and H3 have? How many bolded keywords? How many outgoing links? How many images uh, do they have? And also, this is to show uh, from all of those uh, sort of uh, SERPs that we're trying to scrape, how many of them were 200? Like, I mean, that they were successful. It was 92 percent. Sometimes there's a lot of them that have 404s, which is important to know because this means that the results for the puppy ring bearer have also 404s inside. There's 8% of the first page, first and half of the second, that have 404, and they are showing in Google, which means that there might be a very good opportunity to steal this kind of, um, this kind of keyword because the results do not exist and they haven't updated yet. And the other means that we couldn't be, we weren't able to scrape it for various reasons. Maybe there was a 500 response, maybe the, the site blocked us, maybe it was a, uh, a forbidden kind of um, domain because they needed a subscription or something. So there, there are those reasons. But for all intents and purposes, I have this here because you want to be confident that this word here that I'm showing comes from, from a, a high percentage of, um, of SERPs that we were able to, to scrape. Otherwise, it's not meaningful. Um, yeah, and, and specifically the, the content, especially when you're creating uh, content around dog ass ring bearer, this 437 is an, uh, an average between all of them because what you want to do effectively, like those keywords are very related to each other, which means that you want to include them in the same kind of uh, blog post. You want to have them very related to each other, either in different headers or different in, in different par paragraphs. The reason that this is important is because when you're optimizing a page around dog as ring better, you want to include all the variations that we have found because of our research that are very closely related. And because of all of those things are closely related, what you want to do is that try to imitate the, the SERPs and the content that is ranking for all of them at once. It doesn't make sense to try to optimize only for dog ring better because there is other um, sort of articles or uh, keywords that are very related to this one. The good thing is that as you see, there is a very uh, good statistical um, um, sort of average between all the keywords that are making sense, like this 578, 553, they're all in about 500. You don't see a keyword where its content is such an outlier, like a thousand, for example, which is good to also uh, validate our hypothesis. But yeah, I mean, this was from a different cluster that when I dragged it in, that's why it's different. Um, but for all intents and purposes, this allows you to be able to optimize across all the keywords at once. And eventually, in the next step, when we create our content editor, we will be able to find entities for all of them at once. We will be able to find um, salient terms for all of, from all the keywords at once. Uh, this allows us to not optimize for one keyword, but for all of them that are related to each other. Next, we will be uh, seeing how the Excel has changed and what are the changes there. In regards to the Excel sheet, the format is pretty much the same as it was before. Uh, this is your classic um, Excel report with the only difference, the added columns that have to do with the on-page statistics for all the serves, for all the keywords inside a cluster and the actual uh, averages. Uh, if you want, you can see the individual metrics by unhiding the relevant columns. Here you can see the average content length for the 
first 10 to 15 serps for the 27 world's cutest dog, around 1500 uh, words. And then you can see how this uh, changes across other keywords that are very relevant to this one. And automatically, there is this average that's calculated here. If you delete something, it will update automatically as well. And this is pretty much it. There, there's not too many things that are different. You can uh, play with it yourself and just analyze all the different kind of uh, in information, information that you can find here. Uh, we're working to make this available in the UI, change the way that the report's running so you can have the option to uh, scrape the SERPs or not. For now, we want to beta test this feature with you and just show you what it does. So we will be updating those reports manually. Um, every member that has a paid subscription can submit up to two past reports uh, in our Keyword Cupid course Facebook group, and then we will update it for you. In the meantime, we are trying to uh, make this feature available for the whole application and push it into production. So then you will have the availability uh, to do it uh, in, in your own demand. I hope you like the new features. I hope you uh, are excited for the things that are about to come uh, into the roadmap and uh, we're excited to hear your feedback and interact with you because you are the reason that we're doing this whole thing. So thank you for your support and see you soon.